Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new here, and you would like to join me on my magical Harry Potter collection journey, you can hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is so much fun. I went to Walmart earlier, and I bought some things. So this is a Walmart haul video, slash a mystery unboxing video, but we're going to do the box last. So I'm really excited. I haven't opened this. I've had it all day because I had to make dinner and we had to go to the grocery store and I haven't opened it because I wanted to open it with you guys. So this will be last. All right. First off, I have this bag of goodies. So the first thing we'll look at in here, I got a couple. Oops. I got a couple of pocket pop keychains. This is Pickett from Crimes of Grindelwald, and I'll take them out here in just a second. And then I got one. There were two other baby nufflers, but I only got one of them. So here he is, and I'll, I'll take them out because the glare is kind of awful. Um, I was really excited. So really excited. I really wanted Pickett. Um, I want him to be the next Crimes of Grindelwald big pop that I buy. So we'll take these out and I leave these out of the box. So yeah. They hate me today. I hope you guys are doing good. My day's been fantastic. I got lots of Harry Potter goodies, which makes me so happy. Alright. So we have oh Pickett is so cute. This is my first time looking at him too out of the box really. Because I didn't get him out of the box. But He's adorable. Look at him. He's got really good detail and the paint job's really good. I love him already. He's gonna hang up with the rest of my pops. <laughs> okay, so next. The baby Niffler. His paint job is also really good. I love Nifflers. They're so cute. I wish I had more than just this one, but unfortunately I don't at the time, so this is the only one I've got. But Oh wait, let's get this. Get this out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I got was this. This is my second Harry Potter pop in my collection. This is Harry from the second movie when um, he's playing Quidditch and Dobby bewitches the bludger to go after him because he wanted Harry to be heard enough to be sent home, which I really love. Um, Dobby's awesome, and he just wanted to protect him. So he's got his arm in his little sling and his pajamas on. And there's that. And this. And then that. And I will take him out of the box too. Now the pocket pop keychains at the Walmart where I live are $3.88 a piece. So two of those, $3.88. This was $8.28. Oh, let's get him out of the box. I really want to see him. I'm loving Pops. Loving them. I wasn't going to do like a whole collection of them, but totally don't want it now. Oh my god, his detail's really good. His scar's painted on there. This is awesome. Look at him, guys. His little glasses and his scar. I got my other camera back, so the quality of this video is going to be much better. And I will do an updated Pop video for you guys. Um... I'm going to go do a pop hunt, hopefully soon, next couple of weeks, so I will do an updated video for you guys then on my pops. So keep an eye out for a pop hunt video. Alright, I'm just going to set him over here. And then the last thing that I got that was just kind of random was one of these. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. It is a collectible four inch die cast wand with a stand and you can get Harry's, Victor's, Remus's, Newt's, Ron's, Hermione's, Albus's, Serafina's, Alistair's, and Sirius Black's. Um, I would love to collect all these. I think they're, of course they're just little and they come with little stands and I haven't opened it yet so let's see what we get. I hope I get either Harry's, Hermione's, or Seraphina's. Seraphina's is really pretty. So let's see what we got. Oh, oh cool. 
we got Dumbledore's wand, guys. I think. Yeah, this is Dumbledore's. It's just got, I think, I think it's Dumbledore's. It's just got a really weird thing on it. I'll take it out. We'll, we'll look at it. Um, this is great because the only actual wand that I own right now is this one. And it's plastic. It's not good quality, actually. I got it from Spirit Halloween because I went as a Hogwarts student for Halloween a couple years ago when I was pregnant and I couldn't wear anything else but a cloak. So, um, I still love this because it's Harry Potter and it is Harry Potter's wand. It's just plastic and kind of, you know. So, this is pretty awesome. Ooh. Wow. That's okay. So, I'm sorry. There we go. We got Dumbledore's wand, and it's just little. The paint job is spectacular. This is what confused me. This little part right here. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to go with it. But I'm very excited. It has really, really good detail. And it feels nice. I mean, you can definitely tell they're die cast. It's heavy for something so little. Let's get out the stand and see what it looks like on the stand. I have seen these. Um, out and about. I've never bought one. This is my first one buying. First one I bought, but I think I'm going to buy more because this is super cool. And I would like to have all of them. And they're not too expensive. They're like $4.88 a piece. Oh, please. Okay. There we go. And then I reckon you just stand it up like that, or do you stand it the other way? There's no picture of the stand. Will it fit this way? Yeah, it will. We're going to stand it up like that. So there it is in its little stand. And that's actually kind of cool. I'm actually really digging that. And it's going to have a pride of place on my Harry Potter shelf. All right. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We don't need that box. Um, so the last thing that I got that I'm so excited about was this. This is Built by Culture Fly. And I got it at Walmart, of course. They sell them for 19 99 um, the box is awesome I love it it's done in like the Harry Potter like the Funko Pops almost that they do so it's very pretty I'm probably gonna keep this box because it's my first um, my first mystery box I guess but it tells you that you get an exclusive beanie notebook squishy scarf mystery item and coaster set so I don't know what house this box will be revolved around. I'm a Gryffindor. So, if, like, the beanie and the scarf are not Gryffindor, I'll probably give them to somebody. But, you know, there's that. Alright, let's open this, because I'm so excited. I can't wait for my geek gear box to get here. Ugh. Get out of there. Sorry. Can you tell? I'm really excited. This is what it's going to be like when I open my geek gear box. Only better. So. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Okay. Da -da -da. okay. I haven't looked in it yet. I'm not going to look in it. I'm going to tip it. Oh, God, I looked. Tip it up. You guys can see it. All right. Let's see what's in here because I'm so excited. First, we have a Built by Culture Fly um, little flyer. So, there's that. It says, we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for purchasing a Culture Fly product. Blah, 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 50% off. So there's that. All right. I actually really like this beanie. It's super cute. And I'm guessing these are all licensed products. So I do have one other Harry Potter beanie. It's a Gryffindor beanie. But this one has Harry's little scar and his glasses. And it's in Gryffindor colors. So I'm really digging it. Okay. Next, I'm going to pull out this little box. Golden Snitch Squishy is what it says. There's the box. Golden Snitch Squishy. Squishy. I don't know anything about squishies, but... Ooh. Okay. It's like a little stress ball, guys. And it's very squishy. Look at it. Squishy, squishy, squishy. I like that. That's really cool. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay. 
sorry, I don't have a lot of room. I think I said that before in videos, but I don't want to kind of like throw in the boxes on the floor and we'll go with it. And that's the mystery item. We'll do it last. I know what it does, but you guys don't. <laughs> so these are the coasters that you get. And they're all done in this beautiful, the same beautiful little box style. That beanie was really soft, by the way. Like, really soft. And I do like beanies. So, oh, these are so cute. They've got, like, the corkboard stuff on the back. And then, look, there's the Gryffindor one. It's so adorable. Next, we have Hufflepuff. Look at it. And, like, I don't know what this is on top of them, but it's really nicely done. And they're really shiny. I like stuff that's shiny. I'm like a Niffler that way. Um, Ravenclaw. These are gorgeous, guys. And Slytherin. Now, I know most people are like, oh, Gryffindors hate Slytherin. I'm cool with Slytherin. Just don't be a dick. That's all I got to say. Okay, next we will do the scarf. So this is really cool, actually. I thought it would be house-related, but it's not. Um, it's just a scarf, and it has all the house colors on it. And the Hogwarts, the Hogwarts crest here, and it's very soft. I do have a scarf already, but it's Gryffindor, so this one's really nice. It's really soft, just like the beanie. I love it. I love it so much. All right. Stick that over there. Next, we have the notebook. Ooh. I can already tell I'm going to love this. I'm not too much into stationery, but... It's Harry Potter, so I love it regardless. Open it. Ooh. Come on. Stuff is testing me today, so take that off too. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like this, um, I don't know how to explain it. I can, I can put that. There's one more thing in it, but I'll get it out in a minute. So it's like a fox faux leather type deal and it's really pretty and this is like etched the Hogwarts crest is like etched into the um front of the journal and it's so nice let's see the pages inside are just blank and it even has one of these little little page keepers these don't have lines on them or anything but this is still really nice it's really nicely done I like it a lot and that's saying something, considering I'm not one for stationery. Okay, let me get the last item out of this box. <clears throat> Sorry. Cough. Um, the last thing is the mystery item, and it says, Mirror of Erised. And I am so excited to see what it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's so cute. Let me get it out of the bubble wrap. Oh. Oh. It's really nicely done, and it's actually a little mirror. Look. And it has the inscription up at the top. And it's just like the Mirror of Erised. This is so cool. This is all going on my Harry Potter shelf. Except for my coasters, I might take those downstairs and put them on my coffee table, but I'm not sure. I love this. Look at it. Look at what I desire. The Elder Wand. <laughs> but it, that is really cool. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh. Oh. It had a sticker on the back of there. That's so pretty. That's all it says, though, is Mirror of Era said, so it's just a little mirror. It's all fantastic. So this box, I really liked it. Um, it wasn't really a mystery box, considering that it told you... Pick up the box again. It told you on the front, on the sticker all that was inside the box, but to look at it in full detail was still cool, and I am going to keep this box because it's cool. And, uh, I'm a box hoarder. Okay, so what was my favorite thing in this box? I'm going to have to go with either the Mirror of Erised because it's so pretty and it's so nicely done. The paintwork is great. And I don't have anything that's Mirror of Era said yet, so that's nice. So the Mirror of Era said, or the journal, I think. 
The journal is really nice. It's really soft. And like I said, it's got that faux leather. And this is like carved into the front of it. It's really pretty. So, one of those two is my favorites. Feel free to leave a comment below of what your favorite thing out of this box was. And then the favorite thing that I bought today that was not in this box is probably the wand. This is so cool and it comes with this little stand and it's Dumbledore's wand. I mean, who doesn't want an elder wand even if it's just a little one? So, there's that. But guys, I am out of time for this video. Thank you so much for joining me for my very first unboxing. I was so excited to do this with you guys and I could not wait to get it home and get it open. So, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you liked my video, leave a like down below. If you want to see more unboxings, um, because I'm thinking about ordering a couple more subscription boxes, put a comment down below. Um, like the video. Remember to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!